Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today we're going to be hopping into the 2v2 cannon cart challenge inside of Clash Royale, the ultimate tongue twister challenge inside of the game, where we can unlock the newest card at eight wins inside of this challenge. So it's a 2v2 draft challenge. Supercell seems to be doing a lot of these 2v2 challenges recently. It seems to be insane, but the cannon cart will be our reward uh, if we end up winning. So let's try it out. Let's go ahead and hope we get a couple of good teammates and uh, maybe we'll be able to pull off this victory. Let's do it. Now, the cannon card should be a pretty epic card. Well, it is actually an epic card, but it should be a pretty fun card to play. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it in action, it's five elixir and it does a pretty decent chunk of damage when it dies. It actually sits still like a regular cannon and uh, gets to work. And taking a look at what we have right now, uh, I guess I'm building some sort of Lava Hound deck. I guess we both have, we both have Lava Hound Executioner, so... Who knows how the heck we're going to deal with a cannon card if we actually even get one. I don't think we will, though, since they're going to be the first people to play. Let's play Dark Goblins. Will these do anything against the cannon card? Doesn't look like it's going to do too much. The cannon card's going to actually do like 600 damage just like that. So I'll go ahead and play uh, my Lava Hound. He's got a couple things rolling over here. Maybe my Executioner can follow up a little bit. There goes the Skarmy. Uh, Miner's going to get wrecked by that Prince, unfortunately. And this has been a little bit of a bad start to the game. Now, we need something to deflect the Prince. Minions will do it. Archers will. So, we'll get those down in the nick of time. Uh, Princess is going to go down. I desperately need my arrows to come out right now. Uh, actually, Musketeer's doing a great job. So, let's play our Bandit instead of playing arrows. Bandit's going to lock on. Bandit's going to start making some moves right into the Princess. Right into the Spear Goblin. Into the Spear Goblin Hut. Maybe, oh, it was going to get so close to locking on one more time. And all in all, even after a little bit of a shaky start, we're still looking decent. And uh, I think, I think, I think if we can build up a good Lava Hound push, we should be able to pick up this win. So I really don't know how to deal with the cannon card just yet, though. So this is still new to me. Look at all of those fire spirits. Massive value out of those arrows. Dar Goblin's going to keep chunking away over here. Looks like the Spear Goblins will get a hit off at a time, though, which is a little disappointing. And as all of this goes in, I'll play my Executioner to clean up the Skeletons, as well as this right-hand side of the map. Teammates got a uh, log over there. I'm expecting a Prince, so I don't know if this is going to work very well. There goes the Cannon Car. Let's see how it does against Archers and a Musketeer. Actually, it looks like it's doing a pretty good job. A uh, Double Princess is going to go down. How the heck are we supposed to take this dude out with all of those princesses? This is going to be a tough battle, guys. We both took Lava Hound, and coincidentally, they took pretty hard counters to the Lava Hound. Oh, man, does he have Executioner? He's got to have something for that prince. Looks like that's actually going to do a decent job. I'll get Dark Goblin down over here. Should be able to help clean these up, these skeletons. Uh, yeah, that's going to work pretty well. And taking a look at what we want over here, I guess I'll just get a miner going in. <clears throat> Trying to make some sort of push happen. I guess the miner's really going to be one of our only opportunities. Bandit's going to lock onto the archers instead of going for the tower. That's okay. She will get three elixir of value out of killing those archers. But this has just been a brutal battle so far, guys. And here's a golem. How the heck are we supposed to kill a golem with what we've got? My teammates had this cannon cart the entire time. Huh. Well, that cannon cart would do a great job against the golem if it was a regular cannon but instead it's not going to be able to seal the deal the cannon's going to keep on moving and i'm afraid we have to just pivot to the other side of the map there's no way we're going to keep this side alive uh so we've got to go ahead and go over here lava hound's going to go in fire spirit's going to go in bandit's going in executioner going in if he plays a prince this one is over he's got some good skeletons we've got a bandit and a miner getting onto the tower we've got a little bit of time to do some damage but the executioner is not going to turn in time 475 HP left on that tower. GG well played. I think draft wise, we uh, we had a pretty rough time right there. They had Royal Giant and Golem, which could just take our towers at any time they wanted. Zero and one inside of this challenge. Let's go to battle number two. I'm still feeling okay. You only need eight wins to unlock the cannon card. And I think eight and two is definitely uh, possible. So let's take a poison spell. My teammate drafted a Barbarian Hut over a cannon. I don't know if I agree with that. He did take a Golem though, which is nice. Uh, let's go ahead and keep getting ready. I've got, let's see, I'll take a princess for sure. Then Battle Ram or Mini P.E.K.K.A. So he has Hog Rider as well as the Royal GG. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the Mini P.E.K.K.A. inside of my deck. And that should be pretty good right there. And uh, let's see if this works out just a little bit better than that last battle where the Lava Hound was my only way to pick up victory. I mean, we did get the Lava Hound to the tower a few times, but the, the problem with the Lava Hound compared to anything else is that um it doesn't do that much direct damage whereas a golem if we got like two hits on a golem we could have steamrolled him taking a look at this little push we've got going it's gonna be pretty decent 
Uh, Witch will do a nice job though with those skeletons. Mini packs going in. Arrows, definitely not the right call. Could use that on that princess right there. Baby dragon will get onto the tower plus the cannon. This should be some good damage. Let's get the princess over here onto his princess. And uh, not the worst thing in the world, but now we need defense. He's got an ice wizard. Play your ice wizard, bro. Play your ice wizard. Not all the way back there. We need it for the balloon. Oh, the Ice Wizard. Actually, we ended up not taking any damage. Woo, that was super risky right there. We still have our Princess alive as well. 889 HP left on that left-hand tower. Nicely done. And, okay, this battle's looking much better than the first one. And why don't we go ahead and use our Cannon card for the very first time? And you gotta remember, it's not a regular Cannon, so it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. Teammate plays a defensive Expo. All right, they did end up playing the, uh, the Battle Ram, so that should help out against that Battle Ram. Look at the Cannon do work. Cannon cart still doing work right now, too. Nicely done. The cannon cart actually still has some HP, so let's go and do it. Look how fast it moves, though. Wow. It's pretty fast for something that looks like a building, but still looks like the cannon cart's going to get some good value onto that witch. End up taking her out, plus the defensive expo's doing work. All in all, this game's looking pretty good and a much better than game number one. Go ahead and play that hut to me. Let's see what you got. Barbs are going to start rolling. I'm going to just wait and play defensively. I've got this mini P.E.K.K.A., which is so good defensively. Uh, baby Dragon over here for this princess perfectly done here comes their pekka and uh, meanwhile baby dragon's gonna do work on this other side here comes a graveyard so that's actually pretty nice of us to have the archers doing work uh we should have a nice counter against this pekka with our barbarian hut so let's go ahead and let our stuff uh knight's gonna go in maybe we can save it with a mini pekka doesn't look like it wow we took way too much damage right there i don't know how those archers didn't clean up but unfortunately that was the case and uh, now we're gonna have to go on a little bit of a counter attack miner's gonna go in barbarians running down the lane another cannon another uh looks like Ooh, i meant to play my poison and not the baby dragon huh let's get the poison going down in a second there goes the poison that'll clean that up and uh, now with one more miner we should be able to take that tower we do have the hp lead on the other tower but the best thing in the world would be not to have them do any more damage to us i don't know if that's going to be a thing though i'm going to let my teammate do work and I'm going to go ahead and play offensively on this other side. Nicely done. Fire Spirits are going to get chunked down before they can kill the Spear Goblins. Expo is going to go in. Tower is going to go down to zero. This will be GG well played as the Princess rains down on that tower. And uh, nice. Okay. This is exactly what we needed after a sketchy game number one. A clean victory in game number two. Besides one graveyard push, we're going to be able to pick up the win right there. Doesn't even look like they're going to get that first tower unless they have a little bit more direct damage. GG well played. And we're on our way to unlocking the cannon cart. Now, the cannon cart was pretty useful inside of that battle. We got some good value taking out the witch, good value taking out other buildings. Uh, so I, I imagine the cannon cart is going to be played sort of similar to a bowler. It's a similar elixir cost. And you're going to use it defensively. And then you counteract it. Or I guess you make a counter push with it. And then go to the other side of the map. Uh, other cards that would be that way. I don't know. Bowler sticks out the most because it's five elixir. But I feel, really feel like that's going to be the play style. Playing it down the lane would just be crazy and not really fit a cannon's type. And as we draft right here, we're getting in some good drafts. I'm going to take the graveyard over the barrel right there. They have two goblin barrels, so that could be a little bit of a worry. But we've got archers, electro wizard. We've got a pretty nice draft right now, to be honest. So I'm feeling pretty good about this battle. And yeah, let's see how this one turns out. Let me know how you guys are doing in the cannon cart challenge in the comment section below. Uh, I'm going to be streaming the cannon cart challenge later today on Twitch.tv. So if you guys want to check it out, check out my stream, which is in the description below. We'll do some live battles. And uh, you can witness some live rage, depending on the teammates. And let's go ahead and get this one started off. Wow, defensive miner is fascinating. Uh, but that was a really good Electro Wizard. Did you see how my Electro Wizard actually ended up doing damage to all of the goblins when I placed it? If you play it at the perfect timing, uh, it ends up doing that. It looks like that Fireball is going to be brutal. Uh, teammate had a rocket in hand. I don't think that's going to do too much. Archers are going to go in. Those will be a little bit too late, though. Maybe they can take out that Bomber. Uh, it's going to be a little bit late right there. And here goes the Royal GG. Can the teammate... Yeah, teammate's got Elite Barb, so he can take care of that. That'll be able to kill the Royal GG right there. And uh, I really feel like we need to set up some sort of graveyard push. I don't know if my teammate has a tank, but that would definitely be the best case for what we can do. Uh, looks like we'll have a nice little counter against that Goblin Barrel right there. But... Oh, Miner's gonna go in, but that might be a little bit too late. Ooh, Fire Spirits are gonna clean up right there. Not the worst thing in the world. I'll play the e -Wiz against the uh, Fog right here, just to make sure we take no damage. Didn't need that Dark Goblin, but that's okay. And, yeah. Hmm. Alright, well, I really feel like if we get a good push going, we should be okay right now. And we'll play that Cannon Cart. 
see if we can do work against these skeletons. But uh, yeah, we haven't played the graveyard yet, which is our main force of attack and why I drafted it. Maybe it would have been smarter to take the goblin barrel just because goblin barrel is cheaper and a lot easier to move. But look at this cannon cart run straight into the tower. Fire Spirits did a beautiful job right there. And once the cannon cart dies, like I said, it sits in place, it does work, and it does pretty massive amount of damage. Now let's clean up this bomber right here. Nicely done. I've got archers to help out. Looks like that should take only one hit from a goblin. Not terrible. And the cannon's even going to clean up the tower. The cannon cart is officially a beast, guys. It is ridiculous. If my teammate plays a miner on a goblin barrel one more time, I'm going to lose it but we're looking good with a minute and 11 seconds left let's set up a giant push so we can use our graveyard uh, unfortunately we do have two king towers we have to deal with now so it's not going to be as fun trying to get the graveyard down even though we haven't even played it yet but as it's shown by the first tower we don't need the graveyard to pick up the victory let's just go ahead and keep doing our thing here goes Ewis. here goes the goblin gang um royal giant might only get one hit against this yeah one hit's going to be all he gets and I'm going to set up on the other side. They're going to have to defend pretty well against this uh, push coming up right here. Let's go ahead and get ready in a moment. There goes the graveyard. We do have to defend against this golem, though, so I probably should be paying attention to that. Um, golem's going in. Three musketeers are going to go in. Interesting play for my teammate, but it's actually going to start cleaning up a bunch of stuff over there. I guess I need my cannon cart right now. I guess I might need a doctor, too, because they are destroying this tower right now. Fire spirit's going in. Lots of stuff going against the enemy's king tower that probably not the best idea. And just like that, 18 seconds left. This isn't looking too hot. We've got to make a pretty big comeback right here. Let's get the graveyard going. But with 303 HP, we don't have any direct damage right now. He's playing E-Barbs onto the king tower. I like that play from my teammate. That is an aggressive move in itself. Here goes everything right now. Trying to get to the king tower. Look at the damage. Oh, give me that. Give me that. Wow, my teammate, well played. He made a great decision. We weren't gonna take that right-hand tower. They were loading up on defense over there. We only had a little bit of HP left on our tower, so teammate definitely saved the day going for that three crown. Should have taken my uh, should have taken my crown chest, but that's okay. Let's get the E-Wiz. Go ahead and get ready to battle number three, and uh, this is what you gotta do. You gotta grind your way through these battles. Eventually, it'll work out. I'm gonna avoid the Hog Rider. I actually don't like the Hog Rider as a win condition card in uh in 2v2 for some reason i feel like it's pretty easily counterable since people have like a lot of buildings inside of this mode and a lot of different cards uh but anyways look at my teammates hand he's got royal gg ewiz plus night witch i've got a balloon to play over his royal gg i've got a goblin barrel too man we have some pretty stacked decks except for the mirror that he has but we won't talk about that and okay let's do it let's see if we can make this one a reality right here um i guess i'll start with the goblin barrel can't really do too much else. Goblin Barrel's going to go in. They've got a cannon card. Okay, we're still going to pick up some decent damage, to be honest, right there. As the mini P.E.K.K.A. goes in, I don't know if that's really going to work out. We need something to kill air, which he ha he does have the... um. He does actually have the... What is it? The Inferno Dragon, which he needs to... Why do you play that instead of an Inferno Dragon, man? Oh, man, he played the night witch instead of an inferno dragon that was a questionable move he finally is going to play the inferno dragon but i just played my musketeer so we'll have a nice counter push coming our way but definitely not the best start look at that cannon cart man the cannon cart is getting so much value right there and uh, why don't we go ahead and get our inferno dragon going they just played a rocket so they might be a little bit low on elixir take a look at everything rumbling stumbling and bumbling down the lane i've even got a zap to try to help out get this balloon to the tower oh the dark goblin though is going to do work mini peck is going to hit the tower though for a hit and uh, i'm going to call hashtag worth after that hit all right so looking pretty good arrows hopefully will hit nicely done right there i've got an e whiz for that double e whiz Ooh, that could be some good value in the fire actually we killed two of the fire spirits that was pretty funny uh, Ice Spirit to help clean this up, and all in all, not a terrible start to the game by any means. Double E-Wiz on the tower is going to do work. Princess can't kill those E-Wiz fast enough. That's going to be tower number one going down to zero, and a very nice start to this game. This bandit's going to get obliterated as well. They've been making some pretty negative elixir trades, uh, so we'll definitely take advantage of that. I'm going to get my musketeer ready momentarily for this princess. And yeah, this is looking good. I'll play a Goblin Barrel to back my teammate's mini P.E.K.K.A. up. I've got a Zap ready for a Skeleton Army or anything like that. I'm going to play Zap right now just to give my mini P.E.K.K.A. some time to hit that Cannon Cart. Perfectly done right there. Looks like we'll have a little bit of a nasty counter push, um, but that should be okay. Hopefully those arrows hit. Okay, they'll hit the uh, Dark Goblin. Not terrible. Oh, Mirrored Arrows, teammate. I see you. Uh, okay, so we're probably going to have to defend against the Lava Hound sometime soon. So I'll mentally prepare myself. I think someone on their team might have quit. Teammate, play your Inferno Dragon. Very nicely done. We should be good. I feel like I haven't looked up in the last while. Oh, if my teammate had Mirror and he mirrored the Inferno Dragon, that would be the most MVP play of all time. Uh, but let's just go and back our teammate up over here. Look at the Cannon Cart, by the way. Cannon Cart's going to be doing work over there. 
e Wiz will go in here. The cannon is... Oh, look at the Lava Hound turn around onto the cannon cart because technically it's a building after it gets exploded. That was pretty funny. Uh, Goblin Barrel is going to go in. Teammates got the... Looks like teammates got some good work doing over there. And we're going to end up taking tower number two, and this should be another simple victory. All right, so game number one tried to tilt us, but we, we kept off tilt right there. Looks like this should be pretty good. And uh, let's go and E with that. Nicely done. Oh, Mirrored Rocket's actually going to end up doing some pretty good damage. And uh, it doesn't matter, though. In the end, we're going to end up picking up this victory, and that should be it for a pretty solid battle. Guys... Cannon Cart Challenge, besides that first challenge, ended up being pretty good for us. I just feel like the first challenge, we had double Lava Hound, which was pretty rough to deal with. And uh, yeah, three and one. We're going to get some gold. Hopefully inside of the next episode, I'll be getting that uh, Cannon Cart unlocked. And uh, that is going to wrap it up this video. Let me know how you guys are doing in the Cannon Cart Challenge in the comment section below. But until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.